Hello everyone. Welcome to the course of mobile application development. In today's class, we are going to learn a new topic called Android application architecture. So this particular Android application architecture will be consisting of few segments. And the first segment is like applications. And the second segment is application framework. Third one is the libraries integrated with the Android runtime. And the fourth segment is Linux kernel. So let's see the uh, segments one by one. So coming to the first layer, applications, these applications, we generally call it as apps, right? So these apps are uh, subdivided into native Android apps as well as third party apps. So let's see what are these native Android apps. Let's say one user has bought a new mobile phone and he switched on that particular mobile phone for the first time. So what all the apps which are already installed at the time of purchasing or which are already predefined coming with the new mobile phone. Okay. All those apps are considered as the native Android apps. So let us say a normal messaging app, uh, a app related to a clock or time or a calendar, all this comes under native Android apps. Okay. And the coming to the next third party apps, Suppose a user required a external app which does some work, okay? So what we generally do? We go to the Play Store, install the required app, and we perform some actions according to our work, okay? So whichever the apps you installed using Play Store or third party, okay? All these things considered as the third party applications or third party apps. Now, for a native Android apps or the third party apps, we need some framework to manage. So all these apps can be managed with the help of application framework. So this particular application framework will be consisting of several managers where the first one is the activity manager. So whenever user tries to open an app and perform some action till he closes the app, what all the inputs given to the app everything will be considered as one activity. So we, all the inputs given by the user will be considered as the activities and all these things will be managed by the activity manager and coming to the windows. So the second one is the windows manager or the window manager we call it as every time we open a new app or we open a new page of an application, it is considered as a window and all these application windows or the screens will be managed by the window manager and the third one is the notification manager what all the uh, signal we receive as a notification it can be a call it can be a message or it can be an email or it can be any kind of alert all these things will be managed by a notification manager through some sort of uh, ringtone or an uh, alert or something like that so all this comes under notification manager and the next framework what we have is an view system okay so this is generally related to the complete view of an application in an android mobile phone so this particular android mobile phone whenever you open a particular screen okay it's the whatever the user sees from the screen that is nothing but the view system that everything will be managed through this particular view system manager okay and so it can be an images, it, it can be how the screen looks, everything will be managed by this particular view system. And coming to the next one, XMPP service. So the XMPP stands for Extensible Messaging and Presence Protocol. So this is particularly related to all the messages which we do through an application. So it can be a WhatsApp, telegram or any app which is related to the messages can be monitored using this particular xmpp uh, service and coming to the location manager so all the uh, location related or the uh, mapping based related uh, will be uh, monitored through this particular location manager so it can be the device current location it can be the gps related operations or it can be anything so all these things can be managed through the location manager. And next comes the package manager. Suppose you are trying to install an application through an uh, uh, like an uh, 
what we say google play store or something like that okay so as soon as you download that particular uh, uh, application it will be considered as one package suppose you want to run some graphical user interface you need some java packages so all these kind of packages uh, will be monitored over this package manager and coming to the resource manager so here whenever you are using some application this app or an application used by the user may sometimes need the resource so resource can be in the form of uh, uh, memory the resource can be in the form of utilizing the screen or the resource can be in the form of energy like battery and all those things all these things will be considered as a resource and managed by the resource manager and coming to the next one content provider so it is a component that manages the access to a structured set of data so so we can uh, share uh, share the data between the applications or reading and sending the messages between the applications all these things can be uh, uh, done through the content providers and coming to the last framework we have the telephony manager where all the telephone related or the all the call related um, uh, works can be managed through this particular telephony manager and the third layer what we have is libraries so all these libraries are nothing but the supporting files for the smooth process of the application so the first one what we have is sqlite sqlite we all know so sqlite is a database management system for the application of our android mobile phone and coming to the second one webkit webkit is nothing but it's a core engine generally so uh, uh, whenever we are running some apps we need to render some html pages and java run some java scripts at the background and all those things need to be run uh, done right so all these things will be done with the help of webkit which is nothing but a core engine it especially designed to register or helps to uh, uh, render this particular html or java script kind of pages okay or uh, 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 packages and coming to the next one uh, open gles so especially this particular library is used for 2d and 3d graphics so open gles is nothing but uh, it's in uh, 2d and 3d uh, graphics library embedded system which is very much used for displaying uh, graphical uh, user interface properly through an application and not only that it is majorly used in the gaming applications as well and coming to the free type so this particular free type library is completely related to the font related op operations so uh, you can increase or reduce the font according to the settings and each and every app will be having its own different types of font so this particular free type library will be handling all the font related operations uh, in an android mobile phone and coming to the surface manager surface manager looks after the surface of an android application so whatever the visual representation you see in the android mobile phone uh, is your current surface so it need to have a proper color it need to have a proper structure and proper layout all these things can be projected on the screen need to be screened properly so this particular surface manager library is one of its kind okay and coming to the next library media framework so media framework completely uh, uh, looks after uh, this audio and video uh, sub support libraries and the next one is like ssl ssl is the secure socket layers so it is a security technology in order to establish an encrypted link between the web server and the web browser so this library is used in such cases coming to the sgl sgl is the uh, scalable graphics library so almost whenever you are using a 3d representation or 2d representation of any application so sgl library is very much supportable uh, file and coming to the uh, libc it is a standard c library uh, which supports an applications and coming to the android runtime this android runtime will be having two subdivisions one is the core libraries and the another one is the da dalvik virtual machine 
these are the main hearts of this uh, particular complete architecture where the core libraries will be uh, helping or supporting the applications to run with respect to the hardware uh, like a camera applications or some GPS applications or call applications through GSM. All these things can be supported through this particular core libraries. And coming to the Dalvik virtual machine. So this Dalvik virtual machine is almost like an uh, 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 Java virtual machine, but it's a little bit advanced version. Dalvik virtual machine main intention is to convert all the Java files uh, or class files into the uh, Dex files later into the APK files, such that all these uh, files will be easily executable at this particular Android application runtime. Okay, so we will be discussing a separate topic about the Dalvik virtual machine and how the actually the particular conversion will be done. And coming to the Android runtime, so Android runtime we can call it as ART. It is a process referred to the ahead of time. So ahead of time is considered as the uh, AOT. So this is to keep it simple this android runtime is known as an executable and linkable format so elf we call it as elf okay so uh, this android runtime is a main uh, uh, heart for this complete architecture okay and coming to the linux kernels so we have uh, all the types of drivers which will be used for uh, the mobile device. So we need a display driver in order to uh, support all the user interface uh, to the display, projected on the display for the mobile phone. We need a Wi-Fi driver which supports a proper connectivity of the Wi-Fi. We need an audio driver in order to have access of the audio files. And it can be a music or it can be a call voice or it can be any kind of thing, okay? All the audio related drivers will be supporting the audio related applications. And the next one is the binder uh, drivers. This is nothing but the inter-process communication. We call it as inter-process communication like task management between the apps or uh, there will be, if, if we know uh, each and every job given to the processor is divided into small, small tasks, right? So, Whenever you are using an application in the smartphone, same way, each and every input will be given as one of the tasks. So inter-process communication uh, is plays a key role in this particular uh, uh, task management between the resources or while smooth functioning of the app, okay? So if you want a better functioning of a Bluetooth, we need the support of a Bluetooth driver to, in order to connect the short, short distance communication systems. Okay, so if you want to access the camera, we need a camera driver. So if you want to properly use the uh, battery power of the mobile phone, okay? So power management system will be looking after each and everything. How much battery is consumed at what time, everything will be monitored through the power management. And coming to the process management, how much CPU is utilized for what app? And how much RAM is utilized for what app processing everything will be monitored and supported by this particular process management and coming to the memory management if you go to sometimes if you go to the settings and see the storage you can clearly see how much data uh, or how much space is consumed for the images how much space is consumed for the videos and how much space is consumed for the apps each and everything can be monitored using this particular memory management system and at last we have this flash memory drive where this particular driver is very much used for uh, the flash memories and where you can mostly used for saving the files like photos, images, videos, audios and all those things. So if at all you need a, a flash memory support like an external USB or an OTG cable or some inbuilt flash memories if you have, okay. So if you need to get connected with this particular mobile device, okay, flash memory driver is very much used. So on the whole, each and everything is interlinked where uh, 
uh, all the apps are based on the application framework and application framework takes the support of all these libraries and all these three types will be focused mainly on the android runtime and the main the thing which will be supporting this particular architecture is the linux kernel where all the drivers will be uh, help in the smooth integration of the software as well as hardware so this is the basic architecture of an android application thank you mm -hmm.